Gun violence is one of our country's biggest public health and public safety challenges. Every year, more than 100,000 Americans are shot and killed or injured by firearms. At the Joyce Foundation, we approach gun violence from a public health perspective, looking for solutions that can prevent gun violence before it occurs. The Joyce Foundation is a private foundation based in Chicago. We work in the Great Lakes region on public policy solutions to some of our country's most pressing social and economic problems. At the Joyce Foundation, our gun violence prevention work focuses on three strategies. Research, public and stakeholder engagement, and public education to support stronger state gun laws. The Joyce Foundation has worked with the law enforcement community now for more than a decade. And we do so because law enforcement officials are on the front lines of addressing the country's gun violence problem. They respond to gun violence incidents, they are victims themselves of gun violence, and are strong voices and messengers calling for stronger gun laws. The Joyce Foundation works closely with a number of national law enforcement organizations through the National Law Enforcement Partnership to Prevent Gun Violence. The National Law Enforcement Partnership to Prevent Gun Violence is an alliance of the nation's law enforcement leadership organizations concerned about the unacceptable level of gun violence in this great nation. The partnership was formed in 2010 by nine of the nation's leading law enforcement organizations and professional associations. It represents nearly 18,000 law enforcement agencies and nearly one million law enforcement officers in states and local governments across the nation. Gun violence has a horrific impact on our society. We witness the tragedy and the carnage caused by shootings each and every day. And of course, law enforcement officers are themselves the victims of gun violence. As of September 2016, there have been 40 firearms-related fatalities of law enforcement officers in the United States, this year alone. For the first time in nearly 14 years, in 2011 and 2014, more police officers were killed by firearms violence than by automobile accident. There are a number of strategies we can take and use to intervene and stop this bloodshed. First, we must have universal background checks for all gun buyers. Second, we must strengthen our background check system. Third, we need to ban high capacity magazines, those that hold or feed more than 10 rounds. And lastly, we have to address firearms trafficking and straw purchasing in America today. It's really important that law enforcement organizations stand together in this campaign to stop this gun violence in America. We have got to have each other's backs and we need to be on the same page. I encourage chiefs and other law enforcement leaders to join the partnership and get active in calling for stronger gun laws. The Engaging Communities Project was an effort to bring together a diverse group of stakeholders to talk about solutions to gun violence. Those stakeholders include law enforcement, but also faith leaders, ex-offenders, youth outreach workers, and policy experts all coming together to talk about solutions. So this project grew out of the notion that we wanted uh, policies and solutions that more closely represented the perspective of communities that were hardest hit by gun violence. We brought together uh, community members from three cities, Milwaukee, uh, Richmond, Virginia, and Stockton, California. And we asked them uh, about policing, we asked them about gun violence, we asked them about some of the challenges as well as uh, some of the solutions. Well, there's immense power in a carefully constructed conversation, um, and that's what this was. An opportunity to leverage research, but really change the experiences of people in three communities to have a different type of conversation. Um, and us coming in allowed that to happen in a safe space not to be controlled by the community, not to be controlled by law enforcement. Uh, that, that's how you begin to build relational capital. The report focused on four solutions, reducing access to guns, 
improving police community relationships, uh, improving social services uh, to people who are in need of services like job training, education. And then the fourth part was uh, improving collaboration among different people in the community. We have to change the conversation. Uh, and members of the law enforcement community, the policing community, the policing executive has to accept the fact that the way they've been trained, the way they've been taught, the way they've been executing the job may not be effective. Let's accept that as a possibility. And then look at our communities uh, through the lens of that community member. That really is the person that determines our effectiveness, not our stats. And from that, I think we can begin to build something that is uh, a better iteration of this profession. Philanthropy plays a vital role in addressing our nation's problem of gun violence by supporting research and community-based solutions as well as state and national solutions to address our epidemic of gun violence. The Joyce Foundation is proud to support law enforcement, community-based stakeholders, researchers and policy experts to come together to address this problem holistically and collaboratively. You can learn more about this work by visiting our website, joycefdn.org, or on Twitter, at joycefdn.